in the San Juan Islands, our home is unlike any other place on Earth. The Brown Island Beach Restoration Project demonstrates how working together gives everyone in our home a place at the table. People come here from all over the world. They have an investment-backed expectation that they're gonna see orca whales, that they'll be able to fish for salmon, that they'll see birds and marine mammals from our shorelines. And so having a healthy environment is essential to our economy in San Juan County. It all started when I saw a newsletter from Friends of the San Juans talking about armoring of beaches and how it degrades the beach, which was a huge shock to me. I want the beach to be able to be here for my grandchildren, for my nieces, nephews, godchildren. And that's when we made the decision to contact Friends of the San Juans and see what we could do about this portion of beach. The value of our shoreline property, I don't even know how I can put words on that. It's beautiful. It's part of what attracted us to this area because we both like to kayak and paddleboard. Um, and we love the fish. We love orca. We love seeing whales out in the water when we're paddling. And I always used to think, what can I just one small person do to help those great big animals that live out in the water. Well, again, in looking at a newsletter article, it turns out that those great big orca feed on salmon, which feed on tiny little fish, which spawn on my beach. I'm Tina Whitman, and I'm standing on Brown Island, right opposite Friday Harbor, and I'm standing at one of our shoreline restoration sites. Um, we're working with three private landowners to restore habitat for fish. It's always really satisfying to stand with a private property owner on their land, way up here above the water when the tide is out, and actually find fish eggs. And you just sort of see that light bulb go off for people, because the vast majority of us don't know that there are fish using our beaches to lay their eggs. I'm Jim Johannesson. I'm a coastal geologist uh, running a business called Coastal Geologic Services. Uh, San Juan County wide, we have approximately 700 uh, shoreline bulkheads of one type or another, uh, armoring our shore, interrupting natural processes, not only having direct habitat impacts, but changing the actual processes. In San Juan County, we've got numerous structures at the shoreline that are not at all needed. This, this one behind us is a great example. So with this particular property, we've got homes that are back a considerable distance from the shore. We have a natural erosion rate that's probably on the order of a half of an inch per year on average. So we're talking a couple feet per 50 years at most on average. And what we see is that uh, the trees can actually provide very good erosion control by themselves. Friends of the San Juans is solving a problem that can help ensure the long-term economic and environmental survival of our community. It takes all of us working together, property owners, nonprofit organizations, public agencies, private foundations, private investors, all working together to ensure that we're accommodating all of us, people and nature. That's success for a restoration project. Well, I grew up in a big family. Gathering in a kitchen was always part of what we did. That's how we got together as a family and celebrated things. And so actually, this entire home turned into one big kitchen surrounded by gardens so that we could grow a, a lot of our own greens to eat. We can pop out into the water and get crab or get prawns from the water, but basically then feed people. Similarly, now I'm feeding the orca by having these little fish that can spawn on this beach. So my kitchen now encompasses my garden and my beach and the ocean. It's fabulous.